o la clase. Hoy vamos a empezar unidad 3 y el tema de hoy es los verbos irregulares en el pretérito. Antes de empezar, yo quiero repasar el pretérito. So let's start today with just a quick review of the preterite tense. We will then move into some irregular verbs in the preterite tense. Okay, so first up, what is the preterite? Remember that the preterite is the past tense. Okay, when you use this tense, you're implying the action you did is done and over with. Okay, so I woke up at five o'clock, I took a shower, and I ate breakfast. Okay, to form the preterite tense, you've got two steps. First, you drop the ending, AR, ER, or IR, and then you add these endings. We all know our song that goes, AR preterite is A, Aste o amos aron, ER, IR forms are E, Iste yo imos yeron. Okay, so that is the regular preterite tense. Back in Unit 1, we learned some irregular preterite verbs. Those verbs that we learned were hacer, ir, ser, dar, and ver. Today, we're going to learn five more irregulars, and that's what you'll be filling out on your note guide. So, the five irregular verbs we're going to talk about today are called irregular stem verbs. The reason they're called irregular stem verbs is because their stems are irregular. So what is a stem of the verb? A stem of the verb is what's left when you drop the AR, ER, or IR. So let's first take a look at estar. Looking at this verb, we would guess that its stem is EST. That is incorrect in the preterite tense, because in the preterite tense, its stem is irregular. Its stem is estuv, E-S-T-U-V. The same is true for numbers two through five. So with poder, you might think its stem is P-O-D. Okay, that is incorrect. Its stem in the preterite is P-U-D, pud. Okay, the same is true for poner, its stem is pus, saber, its stem is soup, and tener, its stem is tuv. Okay, so here's what's nice about these irregular stem verbs. Okay, once you get the irregular stem memorized, they all share this exact same set of endings. Okay, let's take a moment and look at these endings. Notice, number one, there are no accents, so that's nice. And then number two, these endings are kind of a mixture of the regular AR preterite endings and the regular ER, IR preterite endings. Okay, so look here, this yo form, that's the same as AR. And the O, that's the same as AR, just without the accents. Everything else is ER, IR, preterite endings. Okay? So, now that we have the irregular stems and we have the endings, let's see if we can put them together. The first verb box you see on your note guide is estar. Okay, so for step one for conjugating one of these irregular stem verbs is to go ahead and put estuv in all the boxes. Okay, so please take a moment to do that. That's step one, you're writing the irregular stem. Okay, so you've got a stuv, a stuv, a stuv, a stuv, a stuv, e a stuv. Then, step two, you're gonna wanna add these endings. A, iste, o, imos, istes, ieron. Okay, once you add those endings, Here's what your conjugation looks like. Estuve, estuviste, estuvo, estuvimos, estuvistes, estuvieron. Okay, let's see if we can conjugate the other four. Poder. 
Okay, hopefully you were able to put in PUD in all forms, and then you just added the endings. So you have for poder, pude, pudiste, pudo, pudimos, pudieron. Okay, the next verb you see is poner, which means to put, place, or set. You can go ahead and put in the pus in all forms. Then you'll need to add your endings. So it will look like puse, pusiste, puso, pusimos, pusieron. Okay, the next verb is saber. Now, you may have noticed from the chart earlier in the video, saber in the present tense. We sang a song about that. It went, saber is to know information and facts. Okay, so did you notice something different here? It said on that chart that saber means to find out. So, here's a interesting fact about saber. It changes its meaning slightly when it's used in the preterite tense. So if you said, I found out the truth, you would say, yo supe la verdad, okay? There's a couple verbs that have these change of meanings in the preterite tense. So saber is your first one. Okay, so here's saber's conjugation in the preterite. Supe, supiste, supo, supimos y supieron. Okay, the last verb we need to conjugate is tener. Tener means to have. Remember, its stem is tuv, so go ahead and put tuv in all the boxes. And your conjugation should look like this. Tuve, tuviste, tuvo, tuvimos, tuvieron. Okay, so those are the five verbs that we are going to talk about today. Let's take a few moments and practice them. Okay, here are your six practice questions. I would like you to conjugate all of these verbs in the preterite. We'll do number one together. It says here, Arturo had to work last night. Okay, so we need to conjugate tener to match Arturo in the preterite. Its conjugation should be tuvo. T-U-V-O, tuvo. Okay, please pause me and work on numbers two through six. Okay, repasemos. Numero dos, estuviste. You were sick for three days. Number three, I was able to finish the homework yesterday. Yo pude. Number four, my friends found out the truth. Mis amigos supieron. Five, we set the table. Nosotros pusimos. And six, Ava and I were there for two hours. Ava, or, excuse me, that says Ava. Um, Ava y yo estuvimos. Okay, that's it for today's notes. If you have any questions, please write that down on your note guide. You may also see the notes provided on page 173.